freedom. Every non-commissioned officer has a moment where they come to realize the importance of their job and the impact they have as leaders. For these NCOs, that time is now. The 1st Infantry Division hosted a non-commissioned officer induction ceremony here at the Kansas State Alumni Center. The NCO induction ceremony was the second major event of the Big Red One year of the NCO. The Year of the NCO is a year-long campaign dedicated to the division's NCOs. It cultivates ownership through the division and develops the next generation of leaders. We now have the white handle, the letter C, which represents the present and the period. Before we can be an NCO Corps owning it every day, and before we can have strong cohesive teams, every single one of us must first be great teammates. Sergeant Cody Pinson, Marion, Kentucky. Every NCO inducted is meant to walk through the arch. Passing beneath the arch symbolizes the rite of passage into the Corps, taking on the role of the NCO. The passage into the NCO Corps has a different meaning to everyone who undergoes it. Um, honestly, I was nervous, um, but I'm very, very proud of what and how I've overcome being in lower enlisted to get to the spot. It took a ton of hard work and I'm so happy that I'm here. The induction was one of many signature events of the Big Red One year of the NCO. For more information, go to oneid.army.mil or Google Big Red One year of the NCO. Please, do you swear or affirm to uphold and secure the value and responsibilities of the non-commissioned officer corps? Yes, Commander Sergeant Major! Army Sergeant Jared Simmons, Manhattan, Kansas.